All right. Let's discuss volume. Okay. So volume, an easy, easy explanation. You can say volume is how fast or how slow the market is, mu is moving. So some people use indicators. I like to use candlesticks. All right. Because candlesticks is the best thing that will give you information in the market, especially right then. All right, most indicators are going to be delayed. And it just doesn't give you trust in your own self, in your own analysis. If you do your own analysis, at least you have to trust that analysis and you have to stand by your rules. All right? So volume. When you're looking for volume, you're looking for big candlesticks. All right? So big candlesticks means high volume. Small candlesticks means low volume. So we have big candlesticks, all right? Big candlesticks, that's high volume. So whenever you are in the market and you see these big candlesticks printing, for example, today, that means there is actually volume in the market. If you see big rejection weeks, there is actually volume in the market. So right now, price could not be moving as fat, fast because it's gathering, gathering orders for it to actually push to where it needs to go. But if you look at that example for today, we do have high volume in the market. Not as high, but we have volume in the market. Now, if we look to the left, right, you can see this kind of six right here, this kind of six right here, this kind of six right here, this kind of six right here. Those are area, those are times in the market when there is no volume. So small candlesticks, very small candlesticks, especially right next to each other. There is no volume in the market. There are not enough orders to actually move the market. All right. That's how you can see volume. All right. Because you have to see it. All right. So if we look at the action right here. You can see price is trying to move somewhere, but there is no volume in the market. And then all of a sudden, we have this big bearish candle and this big bullish candle. That means volume was now being introduced into the market. Price was starting to gather volume. All right. So that's how you actually look at volume and then use it to your advantage. So the important thing when you're using that information, you need to also realize what time are you in in the market now remember asian session does not have as much traders as the other sessions have so asian session normally has very little volume for example we have asian session asian session asian session not as much volume all right now that's 1.2 understand the second point you need to understand the time that you are in in the session, all right? So if you are in the beginning, beginning where Asian session, Asian session is just opening, there is definitely not going to be as much volume compared to when London session opens. London session open, you have Asian traders and you have London traders. So there will be more volume compared to when New York opens, you have London traders and you have New York traders. There's going to be more volume. All right. Now let's talk about when market closing. When market is closing, there's definitely not going to be as much volume because the market are closing. Most of the traders are out of the market already. It's the same thing when London session closes. We now only have New York New Yorkers, New York traders, right? So there won't be as much volume as compared to when you had London traders and New York traders. So those are things that you need to keep in mind when you're trading. So you need to look at the volume. Use the candlestick to see where your volume is. Now, if your candlesticks are not telling you as much, now think about the time of the session that you are in. Think about the session that you are in, all right? That way you actually know, okay, so now it's time for me to actually trade because I, ha I have volume, I can see volume, it's a good time in the market. Or, you know what? I think I'll wait for a better time in the market because there is not much volume and there is no potential for there to be much volume because market are closing. So why would you be entering a trade? Or it's just the beginning of Asian session. Why would you be in a trade? All right. So even if you're going to enter into Asian trades, you can understand that there won't be as much volume, but you can trade it towards the middle and the ending when London sessions are going to be, London traders are going to be introduced. 
All right. So we use the candlesticks to tell us what's happening. And then you need to use the information that you already know and your reasoning to say, okay, I will use the I will use this information that I have and I will use it towards this and that because that's what the markets are telling me. All right. So if you're only waiting for the indi for indicators to tell you what's going on in the markets, the information will be lagged. The volume might be now, but the information they might give you 15 minutes later or even an hour later or even a day later. So if you're going to be using indicators, please use them at your own risk. I don't use indicators. I have not practiced to see volume with indicators. I use my own knowledge and my own understanding when I look at the markets. It's much better. You should be able to open the market and say, okay, yes, market is telling me this because I see there's volume in the market. So market is most, is most likely to move in the direction that, we're, that I'm expecting. For example, we said today we had volume, right? And market is presenting to, is presenting to us that, yes, there is very much huge potential for volume for it to push in the direction that it needs to. It hasn't pushed yet, but there might be potential for it to do what it needs to do. Okay. All right.